If you're working with SAP API management, how do you make sure that you can transport and govern your APIs and KVMs in a good way? So in the regard to we have had support for API management for a long period of time. So you could take API proxies and transport them. Now we have added a new function that makes this process a lot easier. So here I have an API proxy I've created and I also have a KVM. And these are these two values that I have here. And what we can do is we want to have a ticket. We want to create a transport with these information. And so we'll add it to a ticket. So it's a, it's a ticket for, for this. It's a Jira number, service now number, whatever. Um, and in this, we now have our objects. We can attach all the dependent object if, if that is of interest. So we can see whatever else is in this API. We can then say we want to transport this. And the way we do this is simply just to select transport. And one of the cool features. So before we could just import it on our target system. What we have added now is you have option to actually configure these things. So for instance, here we have defined that in QA, the company name is equal to QA and production is called prod. The same with host name, company code, we need to make that modifiable also and be able to, to configure it differently in the landscape. So now we have created this. That means you don't need to manually afterwards go in and make modification to it. The same is true for uh, target endpoints. You can go in and configure those how they're different in the different systems. So now as a developer, I'm done. I can then send it to approval and from a current user, I can also approve things. And it would be nice to see what we're actually going to apply here. So we have this diff to HTML that will give us a diff of this API package, what's different. So we can see we're adding this JSON tests step into the process. We have changed this uh, prod. So some of these APIs that we are com com updating is not defined here. We can see the swagger definition has been changed. The same with the description, who has changed it has been changed. And we have added the spike arrest. So it gives us, and then we can see a, a proxy has made or change has been made to the policy and the new policy has been added. So all of this makes it really easy for me to approve it. Say, yes, I want to do this. I can import it on my QA system. For now, we just have a virtual QA system, which means it will actually just add pre and post fixes to the objects in our QA system. So we can reuse the same QA system. For both meaning you will save a tenant which is all obviously nice if you're not leveraging api to the fullest and what you can then see here if we look at the apis now we can see that this api has now been updated number 33 um, we can see that the target endpoint is qa and if we go into the policies, we can also see that the policies we have applied is, is here. So the newer policy with spike is right here. And if we look at the KVMs, they have also been updated. So we have created a new KVM that is called set KVM2 QA. And then obviously we need to figure out how to add that into the, the logic for these processes. And then we can just test it here, import it into our productive system with the, the relevant information and that means we have full visibility into what has been changed with these data. So we have here all the log information about what has been changed with these data. And that means if audit, or when audit comes, they can always go in and say, this is what's been imported on the particular system for these APIs with full traceability, all the data that has been changed. And you have also the ability to go back, see which changes have been applied and figure out which service uh, references they were caused by. So I hope you want to try it out. Uh, go to figaf.com forward slash DevOps and try it out. There's a free 30 day trial and it is really simple to get started. I hope you want to give it a uh, try.